Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Oh, you are a nasty piece of work, Minsei. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes, but clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river, or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Always an optimist. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall. How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work. And I was in the flat, alone. So... Every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. He was a taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And I was still on maternity leave. Zoe, our little daughter, was only six months old at the time. Well... Five months and twenty-eight days, exactly. She would be eleven now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away. But I really liked them, somehow. They were extraordinary. Absolutely stunning. And looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. dinner once that's all i think we both know that is a lie it's been a while i know but i can still remember how your lips taste of apples and cinnamon it was just a lipstick they taste like nettles normally i will never believe that yeah well you'll have to take my word for it that's okay i like nettles 
like everything about you. Oh, shut up. Just shut up, all right? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. But please, just think about it. I have time. I'll wait. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? No. I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. I doubt he'll notice anyway. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Eric must have come home early. But why? You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What? what happened? Eric, just tell me what's wrong, okay? It was those bloody terrorists again. Here on our doorstep. Would you believe that? So, it was a bomb? Yes, in a restaurant. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Jesus. Are you alright? I'm fine. Did you get hurt? No, not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, 
in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. How about get some glasses, please? <sighs> I'm really not in the mood for your nagging, okay? I've had a really bad day. But... Are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No, I just need a drink. I can wash later. <laughs>